In this tip, I'm going to show you how to automatically exclude a partial week in a data set. As an example, today is Tuesday, the 24th of August, 2021. Since it's a Tuesday, it is not a complete week. So I only want to show the sales through the latest complete week, which starts on August the 16th. So first, let's drag order date to the rows and look at each week. I'm going to then convert that to discrete. So now I have each individual week in the data set. I'm then going to create a calculated field to determine whether or not we're in the latest week. So I'm going to call this ist is latest week. And I'm going to look at the date trunk of the week of order date. And is that equal to mustachio max date trunk order date? And I'm going to close it off with a mustachio. Now, this right hand side will return the overall latest week. And I'm comparing each week in the table to that latest week. Let's drag that to the text shelf to see what it does. Notice all of the prior weeks that are complete are false, and the current week that we're in is true. So what I want to do is I want to drag the is latest week to the filters, and I'm going to only include the false. So you see now we only have data through August 16th. I'm going to drag that to the columns and change it back to continuous. Let's drag sales to the rows, and now we have a weekly time series. The next thing I want to do is I want to show data for the most recent year. So I'm going to create another calculated field, is latest year. And I'm going to do something very similar. I'm going to say the year of order date is equal to, and again, the max of the year of order date. This level of detail expression will return 2021 since that's the year I'm sitting in. I'm going to drag that to the filters and I'm going to choose true. And now you can see our first week starts on December 28th. That's because it's, uh, it's, that's the Monday of that week and it goes through August 16th. Let's change that to a bar chart just to make it a bit easier to see. So now what I want to do is I want to summarize in the capture or in the title what my sales are for the year to date. So let's create another calculated field and let's call it year to date sales. And I'm going to say if is latest year, then sales end. But another way I could write this is int of is latest year times sales. Now what this one is going to do is it's going to take my is latest year, which is a true false, it's going to take the true values, and when it converts it to an integer, it's going to make that a 1. So let's hit OK, and let's drag that to the label shelf. And now you can see I'm getting each individual week, but I want to total up the sales for each of these weeks. So let me edit that calculation, and I'm going to wrap the whole thing in a level of detail expression with a sum. So this is now going to take all of those values and add them together and only return a single number. So when I hit OK, notice how all of the labels are the same. So let's drag that to the detail shelf. And then on our title, we can change this. We can say year to date sales as of, and we need to determine that date. And then let's go ahead and insert the year to date sales. Now, what we need to do is we need to get the latest week to publish it up here. So let's create another calculated field. And let's call this uh, is, uh, let's call this latest week date. And I'm going to paste my function in here. And again, just return the maximum. So it's going to be, give me the latest week. I'm going to right click and drag that to the detail shelf. I'm going to bring in the week, continuous week, and I need to move that to uh, my title. So year to date sales as of, I'm going to put the latest week in there, and August 23rd. Now, it says August 23rd, even though the week should be August 16th. Well, that's because I need to put both of the fields in my filters in context. So first, 
let's add the false, uh, the is latest week to context, and notice now it says August 16th. So the reason it's doing that is because I need my latest week calculation to occur before my level of detail expression runs. And just for the sake of argument, let's put the is latest year in context as well. So that's all there is to it. Just a couple of calculations, and now you're only going to display the sales year to date through the latest week. Hope you found that useful. Have a good day.